two. Just want to <clears throat> get him in the ring. And press circle on the apron like that. Boom, there you go. Of course, he went for a finisher as soon as I hit the button. And that's how you do it right there. So I'll explain this, right? I might even show a replay in this video. So when you go to the controls, right? And it's on the grab and combos. Um, it says breakers at the bottom during your opponent's grab, press square X or circle. You have to guess it. So I could tell he was going to punch. Instead of me pressing triangle, I just pressed square and timed it up like a reversal. But instead of pressing triangle, you press square. And that's how you get that, that part done right there. I'm just going to fast forward to the end of the match. I'm not going to run more too much longer, but yeah, that should help a lot of y'all out because I know me when I was doing it the first time it took me like eight tries just based off that right there because he was beating the tar out of me and I didn't know how to get there personally but yeah hope that helped y'all out man as always oh yeah I'm gonna fast forward later in this match what is he doing Yeah, but as you can see in this clip, I just let the rest of it play out to prove to y'all that I got to the end of the match. I mean, like I said earlier in the video, if you went to that part, I had to play this like eight or nine times to beat it. So I wasn't selling no bill of goods, but like I said, I hope this helped people out because this wasn't the best showcase this time around. It did a lot better with like the Daniel Bryan and even the Mysterio showcase from 22 last year. But yeah, man, the details, you know, a lot of it was good. But like, as you can see, pausing and even, you know, people having to look up videos how to do a certain move on a game that just kind of revent the controls kind of lets you know. But yeah, man, as always, I hope I helped y'all out and I will catch you on the next video. Peace out.